Welcome everybody to another episode of Rich in Spirit. I am Sarita, your chief spiritual officer, and I am so glad that you are here. Before we even get into today's topic, which is mindfulness at work and where we are missing the mark, in my opinion, I want everyone to just pause where you are for a moment plant your feet on the floor or get comfortable if you're standing up washing the dish you know washing dishes however you are you know receiving this today i want you to be um grounded so plant yourself and just take a moment to take a deep breath in hold it And when you're ready, release. There really is something about being present and in the moment. And this topic is really about being present and mindful and finding those moments of mindfulness while at work and in the, in the grind and with our heads down. And one thing that has always intrigued me when we talk about mindfulness is how we start meetings or rather how we don't start meetings. And this is the idea that we get into these meetings and everyone you know introduces themselves and they say how their weekend was and how their day's been and um, did you see the email? The Grammys, this, the, that, and the third. And it's like, Get in the space, ground yourself. And we should really think about starting meetings with a bit of mindfulness, with a pause to ground ourselves and take a few deep breaths. Acknowledge that we are in this time and space together. Acknowledge we are a working community and we are people first before the this, that, the third, the email, the lunch break, the date, the engagement. We are all energy and feeding off of each other. And let's connect there. And I have thought so much on this because as a coach, as a spiritual coach, even when I do my client readings for tarot, whether they are on the phone, on video, or a recorded video, I always say, take a moment and take a few deep breaths and allow yourself to be grounded. Allow yourself to be open and receptive. Allow yourself to be here. But because we are so caught up with our own agendas or the agendas of our partner, our employer, our children, we don't put our life mask on first. And it's important to put that life mask on in every situation. Because you, again, are responsible for the energy that you bring into a room and into a space as a leader, as, you know, just a general employee. And it's important to be mindful of that. It's important to be mindful of the fact that you have a job, that you have a spouse, that you have your faculties about you. That's really what mindfulness is about because from that space, You can create from joy, a better sense of freedom, a sense of actual oneness and connectedness with those around you. And you not only see others, but you allow yourself to be seen as vulnerable, as human, as compassionate. So just a thought there on how you can introduce more mindfulness into your workspace. 
even throwing out this idea, maybe it's throwing it out to HR or your head of culture and, and people or whoever. And if this idea falls flat, just know that, baby, you are ahead of the game. And before you go into your meetings, before you uh, walk into that room, if you're in person or on a Zoom, before you turn on your camera or turn on your microphone, just pause a moment and take some deep breaths and bring that light and that peace and serenity inside. And then visualize yourself sharing that to everyone else in that room, on that Zoom. And I, I guarantee you, if you do that for a few days, a few weeks, and really give it a go, like magic, just you know, cast a spell, you know, just cast a spell. Deep breaths. I'm radiating this light inside of me. You see it getting big and shining like the sun, and then you radiate it out. There will be a shift, a fundamental shift in your workspace, your idea of work, and what opportunities you start attracting towards you. Think I'm lying. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let other people know that there is some content out there that is really about doing your own work and seeing the world around you change. Okay, everybody stay rich in spirit. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.